Hello and welcome to this OneStream Showcase tutorial. This time we are looking at Stable Version 2.1.1. Change Log. Added Stop to DB before Panel Reboot. This feature ensures that database operations are safely halted before a system reboot to prevent data corruption or loss. Added more properties to import episodes. Additional metadata properties are now supported during the import of episodes, enhancing the completeness and accuracy of imported data. Improvements to the minimum transfer amount. Enhancements have been made to the minimum amount that can be transferred, presenting real-time calculations to the admin as they type. Added create device event endpoint. Introduces a new endpoint in our billing API to facilitate the triggering of stalker events. Watch folder additions. Added common watch folder logs listing. Provides a joined listing of logs related to activities within all watch folders, improving monitoring and management of failed to import files. Added watch folder handing TMDB ID in file name. Automatically extract TMDB IDs from file names for better metadata. Use a prefix like TMDB underscore ID underscore to ensure accurate detection. Watch folder now updates if file changed, avi equals mp4, mp4 equals mkv. Ensures that watch folders update appropriately when file formats change, maintaining consistency and compatibility. We continue with added support to send tickets only to super admins. This setting, when enabled, ensures only super admins can view tickets and notifications. Added mass edit rename options. It allows for bulk renaming of VODs, enhancing efficiency in managing large libraries. Added option to exclude symbols from auto-generate. Introduces an option to prevent certain symbols from being included in automatically generated content, improving readability. Added a note to the renew modal. New input for a note is added to the renewal modal dialog, providing a way to append related to renewing information. Added additional categories to display in Stalker series. Expands the categories available for displaying Stalker series content, enhancing categorization and user navigation. TMDB additions. Added keyword settings. TMDB and custom keywords can now be added to boost search and API listings, excluded from XC. Added age rating settings. Adds functionality to configure age ratings for content, ensuring compliance with rating standards or parental control requirements. Added video slash audio slash subs info to VODs from API. Provides additional detailed information about video, audio, and subtitles for video on demand content retrieved via API. Added setting to restrict most underscore watched. Introduces controls to restrict the most watched endpoint. Added keywords fetch from TMDB, keywords from TMDB, and ones you add, enhance title metadata, power search, and user suggestions. Exported via one stream API, excluded from XC. Auto delete line underscore connection underscore stats. Implements automatic deletion of line connection statistics, improving size and storage efficiency of the DB. Added setting for default stalker locale. We've added the ability to set a custom default locale for the stalker player, making localization even easier. Romanian and French translations are now available. Added setting to set number of entries in get underscore short underscore EPG. Supports customizing the entry count in the EPG short view for optimized display. Added order AZ for bouquet series. Add sorting options to arrange bouquet series alphabetically improving organization and user navigation. Improvement to move streams. Stream relocation now runs in the background, with better performance and reliability. Added sync bouquets in manage lines. Implements synchronization capabilities for bouquets within line management, allowing management from the listing page. Import multiple to detect file extensions. Enables detection and handling of multiple file extensions during imports, ensuring ease of use. Added management for PG bouncers. Introduces administrative capabilities for managing PG bouncers, enhancing performance and ease of setup. Other changes. 
Changed Let's Encrypt to Use CertBot. Updates the method of handling Let's Encrypt certificates to use CertBot, improving certificate management and security practices. Added support for manual SSL. Adds functionality for manual configuration and management of SSL certificates, offering flexibility in security setup. UI improvements. Enhancements made to the user interface VOD limit abuse, refactoring, and migrating the page to React.js improving usability, aesthetics, and functionality. Bug fixes. Fixed streams bulk action. Fixed missing format in 24-7. Fixed Euroview compatibility with cache boost. UI fixes. Fixed reseller notes wiped on edit. Fixed issue where on-demand channel starts with wrong source. Fixed internal lines connections indication. Fixed edit category not updating listing. Fixed 24-7 channels processing risk for original file. Fixed translations export. Fixed issue where on-demand channel starts with wrong source. Fixes on mass edit movies. Fixed drop-down filters on mobile. Fixes credits cost mobile UI. Fixed wrong schema in Jinx cache. Fixed TMDB search later sometimes crashing. Fixed user permissions for line credentials. Fixed bouquets removed from package when edit by admin user. Fixed renew modal, keep current. Fixed manage user's order. Fixed profile edit username. Fixed issue with internal connections and auto close. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. For more information, go to onestream.com.